Are there still friendly players in Daisy? This very question is exactly why I challenged myself to build a sanctuary open to anyone. You see, in all my hours of playing DayZ, I've met a lot of different people and groups, each with their own playstyles, but seeing a collection of players who have never met before working together is something I have not really seen very often. The idea of players having somewhere to trade, somewhere to be safe, somewhere to call home, was that of a fairy tale to me. I needed to see if this fairy tale could be made into a reality, and would it last an entire while. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is a game changer for looking after your downstairs. It's no wonder over 10 million users trust Manscaped for their trimmers, liquid formula and premium boxers. Manscaped were kind enough to send me their Evergreen 5.0 performance package. Inside you'll find the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It's Manscaped's fifth generation electric trimmer featuring next gen dual skin safe blades. The upgraded trimmer blade features longer, wider and rounded teeth that cut through hair with ease. And there is also the new foil blade attachment. This is for all of you who like a sleek and utterly bare finish with its ability to snatch even the finest hairs. These blades are really easy to switch in and out, making your shaving experience a real breeze. Simply start with the trimmer head for that initial cut before switching to the foil blade for an unbeatable smooth finish. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra also has a bigger LED light and introduces a brand new dual temperature feature, making those hard to reach areas no longer a chore. If you have used Manscaped before, then you'll also be glad to hear that the same features we've all come to love still exist, like a rechargeable battery or the RPM technology for the best performance. But the best part, it's still waterproof. Sold yet? Well, if not, this package also includes the new Weed Whacker 2.0, a nose and ear hair trimmer. This little tool is cordless, rechargeable and has built-in technology to reduce unwanted hair snags, tugs and nicks on your delicate nostrils and ears. When you have finished shaving, then you might also want to use the two products included in this kit. The Crop Preserver and the Crop Soother for an all-day odour protection and if you have a partner, I'm sure these will help. Finally, Manscaped have even thrown in two free gifts with this package, the Boxers 2.0 and the Shed Travel Bag, bringing your comfort on the move to another level. So if you want to revamp your hygiene and take it to the next level, go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off free international shipping and the two free gifts when you use the promo code exclusion at checkout. Our story starts when I loaded in on the coast for the very first time. I was a little late to this wipe, so getting inland was my first priority in hopes of making it to Tissy military base. And on the way there, I would look for some items that would help me survive. Ooh. Code lock. I'm gonna need that. That's so good. It was a long journey to Tissy, but eventually I made it and stashed away some of the valuables I had found on my way before making my way into the military base itself in hopes of finding something that would kickstart my adventure. Oh, no way. That's for C4. Oh, level two key card. A level two access key card used to access a north west airfield military bunker on the west side. With this keycard, I knew I could get the gear I was looking for. It was a rather rare find, so it had to have something. So, now with a new plan of action, I grabbed from my stash what I needed and headed off in the direction of the airfield. Alright. Bro, there's a base up there. Look at that. That's sick. Remember this base because it plays a major part in our story ahead. Nonetheless, I finally made it to the bunker. Alright, level 2 key card, here we go. Come on, loot spawn, loot spawn, loot spawn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! 
That's insane. We need to go. With a successful keycard run, I was now more loaded than ever, and so made my way away from the airfield. My next step would be meeting my teammates and considering where to build. Oh my god. So, so much gear. It was crucial that the next step of our journey went smoothly. So I made my way all the way around the airfield towards Devil's Castle. Okay, so I need to get into this tower. I think this is where we're gonna meet everyone. It was here at Devil's Castle, I would meet my first teammate, Spud. Hello. Hello. And whilst we waited for more people to arrive, we noticed a bunch of shots nearby. Yeah, there's so many shots over that way. I mean, we could push over that way if you want. We figured that because we were waiting for our other teammates to arrive, we may as well get a closer look at this fight. So we stashed away what we could and headed over. Yeah, if we stash right here, this is a good spot. If we could third party this, then it would provide enough gear for all of our team. M4s and stuff in front. And that big gun down to our right somewhere. Dude, there's a lot of people. Let's try getting up behind this guy. Yeah, yeah, in front, in front, in front. But a guy carrying a bag? Yes. Yep, one guy behind him as well. Freshy behind him, I think. I have no range, you have to take the longer shots. Yeah, he's right down here in the trees. When you cut this guy off, he's double carrying bags. He's a freshie as well. Do you see him? You see him? Yes. He's geared. They're going towards the Varga church, guys. Oh shit, it is these guys. Yeah. Oh, they're right on him. One dead, one dead. Both dead, both dead. dead. Grab the bags, grab the bags. Rear bag full of shit! Oh my god, grab the other bag! Go, 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 go! Get out of here! For whatever reason, these guys were absolutely loaded. So we backed off a little bit and made a stash as we wanted more. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going straight back. Oh, I need to get rid of this bag, bro, it's ruined. Oh shit, there's a on me. You had a raid bag on? I'm hit from behind. Just I'm fall not. back, just fall back. Oh. I'm not. There's another guy far back. Um, yeah, yeah, I heard him shoot. I see him looting right back. He's hit once. On me! He's knocked, he's knocked. This guy's loaded! Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit! Uh, blaze, blaze or something. With me all alone now, I needed to play this slow. So I backed off and healed up, before moving down the hill. There were bodies full of gear everywhere, and if I could clear the area, there was more than enough gear to supply our entire team. I need to fall back. I need to stash even more. Spud, just try and make your way back, bro. There's still yeah. people fighting, but I think I've got away. Um, so there's this last guy Somewhere with the shots in the area dying down I could only assume that the guy who had shot at me was the last guy alive And so I started desperately looking for him as I knew he had to be hiding in one of these trees However, there were still loads of unlooted bodies around and I just couldn't help myself Oh this guy had an M4 I need this Code logs, more arms, more tier 3s, fucking ghillie suit. With me being able to loot bodies uninterrupted, I assumed that this last guy had left the area, but I was so wrong. He's dead. And after confirming that this was the guy who shot at me with the blaze rifle, I knew I could start looting bodies in the area. And they had everything we could possibly need. 
think that's it. After rinsing the area of anything valuable, we headed back to our stash, which was filled to the brim, and selected what we needed before heading back to Devil's Castle. Bro, I'm fucking stacked. With all this loot, we could gear up our team and think about building a base. The only question was where? No way. Oh, I thought someone found our stash. <laughs> Bloody hell. Safe from the population of the server, we needed to think about where we could build. And most importantly, where we could fortify into a sanctuary. So while the rest of the team made their way over, we asked ourselves what locations were central on the map, had enough space for a large group of players, and most importantly, was a popular landmark. It was then that we realised we were already in the perfect location. Should we try build here? Sanctuary is sort of like, it's sort of like mid map and stuff too. I think we should honestly build here. Like we're mid map, it's like central to everything. Like northwest, we've got a black market right next to us. Tissy's not far. Like it's perfect for a sanctuary. Like perfect because we can like. Put a compound around it. Oh, this is a really easy block off spot. Yeah, if we like put a big, like if we seal in all these walls and just build around, like seal all that, seal all the all these holes. Yeah. Put like a big wall going across here, and then seal all these walls and stuff, and then like put an entrance here perhaps, and then we have this huge courtyard. Yeah. And if we put the flag in the perfect spot, like right in the middle, it should cover it all. I think I think it's perfect for a sanctuary. Dude. Oh my god. Right, we just need to see if we can build here. Because it, it would honestly, it would make our life so much easier. We don't have to risk gear. With Devil's Castle seemingly being the best location on the map for a sanctuary, we got to work building our territory. Dude, look at that, guys. <gasps> Got a door. Just need to build it. <laughs> With our sanctuary location now secure, all tasks ahead would be for the purpose of opening it to the entire server. But as it was currently nighttime, we decided to wait till the morning and fortified the inside of the castle a little bit to pass the time. Yeah, nice. That looks good. By the time morning came, we had a few airlocks to stop anyone from gaining unwanted access, and spent some further time fortifying any gaps that raiders could potentially get through, but by the time we had done this, we had used all of our nails. So when we were happy with the strength of our castle, we headed out on a loot run to Northwest Airfield, hoping to get more nails from players who had been looting. Blanket on him. Where are they? Where are they? He's back. He ran back inside. He, he popped outside for a little bit. He's in the bathroom, I think. One in this barrack on me. Other one's down. Other one's down. Yeah, he's in this. He's dead, I think. Yeah, all dead, all dead, all dead. Holy shit. Oh, box of nails, nice, perfect. It was a good start, and by the time we had finished looting the bodies, we had collected some pretty good gear, including a tier two key card. Level two key card, we have to do this now. As we were already at the Northwest Airfield, I figured we may as well do this now and take the extra loot back to the sanctuary. Level 3 vest. Please, dude, that's horrible. Okay, more raid stuff. Oh my god, C4 sticks. And a raid bag. And another grenade launcher. 
Alright, it was a pretty solid loot run, and so we made our way back to the sanctuary with full inventories. It was getting quite late now, however, and so with the nails we had just found, we wanted to fortify the castle in order to survive the night. What we want to do is put another door down, because people are getting raided, and we need to seal the rest of the base. Okay, there's some peaks here. So that if anyone's in the bottom floor, you can peek here. This placement of this floor literally could not be more perfect. Okay, if I build this floor, then the first level of the base is complete, essentially. Alright, end of day one. When we logged in on day two, we were pleasantly surprised that our base had survived the night. Okay, we're not raided. And after waiting for some team members to log on, we decided we were going to do a key run to start the day, in hopes of getting more industrial loot. He is on me. I should have a bunch of industrial loot. Got okay, some barter items. Oh, storage. Code lock and gunmetal wall kit. Not the best, but not the worst. Let's go do the star ER one. Yeah. Two code locks, some good sellables, and two more code locks. Bloody hell, we're coming down with code locks. After looting pretty much every industrial we possibly could, we headed back to the sanctuary. Our objective today was to begin constructing the compound that would mark the border of the sanctuary and hopefully keep anyone who decided to use it safe. So with the collection of nails, code locks and other bits we had collected, we came up with a plan for the best way to approach this. So yeah, what I want to do is start this compound. Probably start from here, like block all these windows, and then like just make our way around anti-clockwise. Yeah. With a solid plan, we got to work. We would need an absurd amount of materials, and so every team member was dedicated to collecting logs and attaching it to the workbench. Attach all the logs to the workbench. So if we get 50 logs, that'll be a good starting point. And when a surplus of these materials were collected, I could then begin work on the compound. Alright, so what we want to do is lock all these windows up, so we need one wall, two wall. Perfect. Oh, dude, that looks so good. Alright, we just need to figure out how to block this bit off, and then that's the first quarter done. Filling in the walls, we can use base building plus, but on these open bits, I think we should use vanilla fences. dude. Okay, this is it so far. We're a quarter of the way to sealing in our compound. We got all this to do and then we got like an entrance to do as well. God, we have a lot of building to do. We have a lot of building to do. With roughly a quarter of the compound already complete, we were off to a good start. If we could construct this the entire way around, then the sanctuary would be one step closer to being open to the public. So I started filling in every hole I could with the log walls and had just completed the next section before running out of nails yet again. We got six nails left, bro. 
But that's it, really. That's all we can build for now. I would say we're about a third of the way. So that bit's done. That's all secure. All these gaps are secure. All we need to do now is put a compound fence across to here. Similar to down there, you know. With the barbed wire and stuff to stop people boosting over. Perfect, dude. But that's like a third of the way done. So we need a bunch more nails to finish this. With us running out of nails again, we needed to get more. Especially if we wanted to complete this compound by the end of the day, and so we headed out on another loot run. Oh. <gasps> box nails, guys. Box nails. First box. Oh, box nails. Nice. Two boxes already. Yeah, there is a bunch of industrial up at the train station, so maybe we should head up there. So there's a base here in the apartment. There's another base up here, and there's a hatch open, and the blueprints. There's a big base up here that might be active, guys. With large bases all around here, we knew there was bound to be nail spawns. But as we got closer to the second base we spotted, we noticed that we could possibly get a look inside and see what kind of gear they had. Yeah, I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof roof, guys. Oh my god, dude, look at that! One, two, three, four raid bags. Oh my god, look at the gun racks as well. Yeah, they, they've made it two floors, so their whole bottom floor is just gonna be doors. This could be like 15, 20 doors deep. But the amount of loot in there looks insane. Alright, well, let's continue the search for nails. We've already got three boxes, so if we can get like a few more, it might be enough. Honestly. Again, this is another base that you should remember. It plays a huge role in the ending of this story, and this would not be the last time we came to visit it. But that is for later. Right now, we need to continue our search in the city for any nail spawns or anything else that could be useful for the sanctuary. There's a V3S over on me. Yeah, it needs the double wheel, but all it needs is a truck battery. And wait, there's a working truck right here. After collecting more nails, we left the city of Navaya and returned to the sanctuary. Our collection of nails was slowly building up, but before we continued building, one of our team members had found a truck battery. And so we headed straight back to Navaya to grab that V3S. All we had to do was get it back to base. Holy, this thing's loud, man. Guy in front on the road! He's dead, one dead, one dead. I hit him in the head. Poor guy. <laughs> this V3S would be extremely useful for gathering resources, and we were just about to get it back to the sanctuary when... Oh, guy, guy to the right, guy to the right, you just shot me. Yep, we're good. We're chilling. Oh my god. He's got an M14, I think. Oh no, it's really bad. Uh, come on. Yep, go, go. Is there more than one? He's right on me. I don't know where he is. Oh, he is up in your body. Oh. There's more than one, there's two. No, wait, no, he's got wolves on him. Yeah, he's killing the wolves right now. From a house. He's out of the house now. He's dead. Fat shit. Full dead. 
EMR and RP, yeah, so this was the guy shooting. With a second encounter on our journey home, and a moment of thinking we were going to lose our V3S, we were no longer willing to take chances. So I waited for some team members to arrive, so that they could clear the road ahead, and protect the V3S while I drove it to the sanctuary. I'm in first gear right now, bro. You better all push from the front. <laughs> okay, there's a big old base on our left. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa! whoa. I'll right, right in the field. Right. Like... Please cover me, guys. Hit him once in the head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, two, 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 two. I'm gonna hop out, guys. Where's the other one? Yeah, I see him. He's person. at the hay bale on the tree I line. see him. I see him. I see him. Right, he's running back. Running back. I see him now. I double tapped your guy. Oh shit! This guy had an arm. I'm coming, bro. My ping is higher than your IQ. <gasps> AWM! Let's go! After killing an extremely geared player, we finally got the V3S back to base. We had had three encounters on that journey home, but the last one, well, we should have been more careful. Out of curiosity, who's running around in the bushes outside? There should be no one. Oh shit, is there people outside? Yeah, they're outside, they're outside. They're fully kitted outside. Are they fighting someone? I see one, I see one, I see one. Oh, it won't let me aim. One full dead, one full dead. Where at? At the, at the archway down there. Oh, Ooh. just tried to get GL'd from the... <laughs> from I literally, my whole screen shook. <laughs> I don't know where that was from. <laughs> Fuck, this is not good. We might become a raid target overnight. Yeah. Not knowing if these guys were going to leave us alone, we opted to wait inside and let some time pass. We knew we had just annoyed these guys, so we needed to get our compound completed as soon as possible. Alright. What we need to do is... Build the rest of this compound. So I think we have enough nails in here to do that. I think. Yeah. We have code locks. We just need logs and planks. When we figured our base was safe enough to continue expansion, we got to work. Collecting the resources and laying the foundations for our sanctuary. Nice. I saw this uh, wall rebuilt. All right, looking good. All we gotta do now is finish the front of the base and make an entrance. And then we're open for business. With the sanctuary so close to completion, we were only a couple of steps away from opening to the entire server. So far we had fortified every corner with compound walls and filled up every gap that a raider could use to gain entry. 
the only thing we had left to build was a front entrance. But for that, we would need more nails. I drop the city stuff. <gasps> we should go for that. Let's go, let's go. An airdrop was landing not too far away, and these had a good chance of spawning base building loot. Oh, airdrop's getting close, guys. We made it just on time. But just as we were waiting, we ran into a little problem. I already ran into a person hiding in this house, of course. Are you alive? Nope. Was he upstairs or...? He was on the first floor, I'm pretty sure he just had an AK. I have no man. Oh, there's a guy right on me. Him. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I'm, I think I might headshot him. Oh, he's still alive. I pushed right. He's dead. There's another I've hit the other ones. I've hit him. Not dead, not dead. He's pushing out bot four. I'm so hurt, bro. I'm so hurt. I I might have hit him. I'm not sure. I broke his legs. He has to be low. He's dead. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, he's full dead, bro. Good kill. Although we lost one person, we managed to get an extra couple of kills. But they didn't have any nails. And as for the airdrop, well, it didn't have any either. However, it did have another key card. Oh, tier 2 key card though, but no base building. And so we headed over to the Northwest Airfield once again to do this key card, but we got a little more than anticipated. Shots at tents. Oh, I see, I see two guys in the field to you right, to your right. Oh yeah, running right towards me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. One's down. One's aiming at you guys. One's, yeah. one's aiming at you guys. One's on con. One's on con. Oh my God. He's out in the field still. He's aiming at you guys. He's coming close. You take one. Dead, 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 dead. There's gonna nice. be another one. There's gonna be another one to your right. I see the guy on the right. It's far. I've hit him, I've hit him once. He's dead. Dead, dead, dead. <gasps> this guy's geared, guys. Holy, a blue keycard. Oh my god, he had another tier 2 keycard. What? I'll be getting his hands as well, that's nice. Can you grab that rib bag? Pull it the up. loot we got from this one gunfight was way more than we could have possibly gotten from any keycard. And so we headed back to base straight away. Three level two keycards, that is so much explosive loot. We were pretty happy with this haul, but as we got closer to base, we realized we were in for a much bigger surprise. Guys, we're getting fucking raided. Wait. There's a C4 on the base. I hear oh. beeping. Really? I swear to God, I swear to God, I hear beeping. Okay, I'm gonna stash this loot. Yeah, stash loot, stash loot. While we were out on a roam, someone decided to come and try raid the sanctuary. So we stashed everything we had and went to go see if we could defend our base. I just stashed in a random tree. Yeah, there's one C4. Front door's fully gone. Oh yeah, they're on it, they're on it. They've only blown the first door, I think. This d next one we see, we need a double team, okay? One's dead, one's dead, full dead. On me, on me, on me. Inside on the inside. Corner. Is he in the inside? Yeah, inside. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I don't. Know.
Guy up top dead. Guy up top is dead. Right. Guy on me. He's dead. Nice. I killed one. I killed the guy inside. He pushed out to try PQ. Good guy. We've like just killed four. Room. We've killed four. Oh yeah. Who are these guys? Hold up. Sniff this. My ping is higher than your IQ. It's them. We figured we would be seeing more of these guys, and sure enough, they tried to raid us. Despite us killing them all, they kept coming back, and we didn't know where they lived, but by the looks of things, their base must have been nearby. Eventually, we were overrun, and we all died. However, when they realized we were online, they stopped the raid. So when we got back, we needed to finish our sanctuary compound. We really just gotta build the, the, the entrance to the sanctuary and then that won't be able to happen again. And so we wanna watch her here. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Dude, this looks sick, man. This looks so good. With the sanctuary compound fully built, we now feel a lot safer. The final step would be outfitting the compound with everything it needed, however, that would have to wait until tomorrow. We needed some sleep as it was getting late into the night, but high compound walls, barbed wire and defense points all around would hopefully deter anyone from breaking in. If all went well and IQ and his group didn't return overnight to offline raid us, then we were on track to opening the sanctuary to the entire server the following day. Sure enough, we logged onto a base that was not raided the next day. And so we needed to get straight to work outfitting this compound with everything it needed. And to do that, we would use the black market that was right nearby. The only problem, it was always contested. I've killed one, I've killed one. Sending a tube. Send it. Oh, he lives. He's falling back, he's falling back. He's got running, he's running. He's hit once. He's on me. He's hit again. Yeah, he ran this way, Chris. Yeah, he's in front. He's dead. The black market may have always been contested, but there was good reason for that. You see, at the black market, you could buy anything you wanted. And so we took all our valuables, sold them, and bought things like spotlights and tents before heading back to the sanctuary. All right. Man, 
this looks so roleplay. <laughs> Dude, this looks so cool. We can grow some food here. The sanctuary had everything possibly needed, from farming areas to trading areas, to even areas for storing vehicles. By the time we were done placing everything, the sun was beginning to set, and I was placing some items inside the tents for people to use, and got ready to celebrate opening the sanctuary. Oh no, oh no. Hey. That is sick. All of our hard work had finally paid off, and the sanctuary was open for business. This whole experience had been focused on creating an area for survivors to come and enjoy. A refuge for anyone on the entire server. The question we were all asking, would it even work? And so, we set out on a small mission to see if we could get anyone to come over. By writing small notes that we could leave around the map, we hoped to spread the word of the sanctuary, and even put a note on our front gate so everyone knew exactly what this was before heading out. If we put notes on like common places where freshies stop on their way inland, then we should be good. Okay, players are bound to loot the hospital as well. The whole idea was that players would come across our notes, read them, and discover the sanctuary location. We were unsure if this would even work, but when we got back to base, we had a surprise waiting for us. Oh shit, there's a guy here. Hello, old man. What's going on? So, you here for the sanctuary? Nice place you got here. Yeah, I'm interested in joining. All right, bro. Well, you can read this. Uh, this this note it sort of explains what's going on. Yeah, I am quite interested in joining. Well, this is it. What's your name? Fancy. Vexed. Vexed, okay. Well, Vexed, in here, this is where you're, we're going to grow all our food. Um, so you'll be able to have an unlimited okay. supply of food. And um, down here, we have, like, sort of a common area where people can trade, you know, uh, trade loot, stash stuff away if they want to. Um, you know, make contributions to the, the community. Sounds good. Um, over there we got some car storage, and then this is the, the main base. Okay. After showing our first resident around, we gave him full access to the front door code, expressed our gratitude for coming to check out the sanctuary, and ultimately left him to explore. Okay. You're our first awesome. resident. Yay. Seeing someone make use of the sanctuary made all the effort worth it, and we were slowly starting to believe that this whole idea was actually possible. We just needed more people, and the next person to arrive was one of the most important characters in our story. Are you, you're not Negan, right? Don't trick me. Don't trick me. Oh, no, I'm Asian. I can't be Negan. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm looking for safe haven in the sanctuary. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Dango. Let's go. I think I saw you in Discord. What name, man? Yeah. I'm not gonna pull my gun out. How's it going? Promise. Promise. I'm, I'm good, man. How welcome, are you? welcome. Well, this is the sanctuary. Essentially, we're you know just trying to provide somewhere for people to come hang out. Once again, I showed Tango around, taking him through each part to ensure he knew how it all worked. Tango was an interesting character, and he just so happened to have a coincidental message. Yeah, of course. So, so do you know what's really funny? I'm not capping. I live in Rogue, uh, Rogue Castle by myself. You live in where? Uh, and I... Rogue? R-O-G Castle? Rogue Castle. That? Above Electro? Holy shit, you're far. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I used last swipe. I lived under Tizzy, and I was sick and tired of running back 
bit back to base if I was going to log off with stuff. Holy crap, he lives miles so away. So I ended up moving down to Rug Last Wipe at the end of Wipe, and then, mm -hmm. then I decided to build there again. But my point was, I was planning on building something like this myself. Like, no cap. Oh, really? Maybe this whole idea was possible after all, and Tango's enthusiasm to have his own sanctuary would come into use later. He wasn't the last person to come visit us either, in fact a few oh, more nice. would. Some a little stranger than others. Well, this is a sanctuary. We're here uh, just to, you know, offer you anything you need. We grow some food here, and we got some loot down here if you need anything, and uh, there's campfires and stuff. So, you can chill. You also, uh, whenever you're in this area, you can't get shot from anywhere, so it's pretty safe. You need anything? Um, I don't know. Okay. This guy's invigorating. That's a bit weird. <laughs> <What a rage>. <laughs> <laughs> Since greeting players into the sanctuary, a lot of our time would be spent trading with players, exchanging items that would benefit us all creating the community we were striving to build. Alright, we're gonna head out on a key run. Keep the sanctuary safe. Alright, let's go. Later that day, a group of us decided to head out on another loot run, ending up at the airfield back at the bunker to do the key card. Okay, some tier three, some guns. What's in here? Oh, oh, C4 stick, nice. But just as we were leaving, we got into a little trouble. Oh, on me! Above, above, and on the right. Get back in, get back in. I'm low. Left side. Might be dead. One dead, one dead. This guy's got M4 and shit. Oh my god, three sulfur and charcoal. Another level two key card. Bunch of five five six. Bro, I am stacked, guys. With another firefight at the airfield granting us more loot than we could carry, we decided we needed to go back to base before continuing our loot run. But on our way back, we received a worrying message. Where were they? Do you, uh, do we know where they were? In the compound. In the compound by the tents. So it's like sitting in the back. Oh wait, hold on. Why is that dismantled? Part of the watchtower is dismantled. I see him. One dead. Just play really slow, Hawk, yeah? We lowered our flag. Oh, I'm shot, shot at. It. Or was that at you? That was at me. That's inside, though. Okay, there's one more inside somewhere. I do not see him. Could send in some GLs to get him to panic. Okay, so oh, I know where he's gonna be. It's gonna be. down there somewhere. That scared the piss out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try to figure out where he is. Where has he got in, do we think? Oh, yeah, what the fuck is this? A fairly large group was camping the sanctuary. And yes, we had a good idea of who this might have been. But there was only one way to confirm it. I'm dead from behind. behind did you say? He's outside. Outside. There's more people. Here. Players continued to flood into the area, and with me being the only one alive right now, I was slowly being surrounded. I needed to make a move. I was a little stuck by the one guy camping our front entrance. 
I'm kind of stuck where I am, man. Guy on top of the archway might be dead. We need info if you can, honestly. I know it's tough if you die. I trade it with one on top. Again, there was just too many. They had made quick work of the sanctuary dwellers we left behind when going on our loot run and caused enough damage to allow access to the compound from anyone. And to make matters worse, they were smarter this time too. Because when we made it back to the base, they had removed all traces of them being there. Dude, there's no way they've cut his body up. I think they cut his body up so I can't get names. Look, I killed a guy on top of this and his body's not here anymore. I feel like they've cut it up. Maybe AK is still up here. Did his body despawn? No way. Nah, I couldn't have done because the body's still outside. Oh, dude, they packed up our lights and shit, man. They packed a tent there as well. They've left Vess. What guns have they taken? These guys had caused a lot of damage, but they stole nothing. Why were they here? And was it who we thought it was? They haven't taken anything. They just came here to be annoyed. But they have dismantled a wall back here to get in and out. If our suspicions were correct, then this had to be the same group as before. They seemed to know the layout of the compound, so it seemed only right to suspect IQ and his team. But of course, this was only speculation. Shortly after this encounter, we had another visitor. One who would help us answer a few important questions. Hello. You guys are such role players. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? Like so welcome uh, welcome to the sanctuary. I like the floats, nice man. Some of you may recognize this survivor as Zodek, and he would be a key link in our story. Don't mind the cut up bodies. For some reason we got attacked and like there was a bunch of people camping us. Who's been camping in? Well, <sighs> You see, they've cut up the body, so we don't really know who exactly it was. And by the time we got back here, like, they'd already left, so. But, we have a good idea who it might be. And it's a guy called... It's a guy called IQ and his group. They tried raiding us the other day, and, and I think the only reasonable group it could be is them. That's interesting. Now, we've been, um, we've been fighting them this whole way, bro. In As it turned out, Zodek and his team only lived down the hill from us, in the city of Severograd. They had been trying to survive in a hidden treehouse base and, to no surprise, had remained secretly stashed away. However, with them living so close, they too had had PvP encounters with the player IQ and his team mostly between their base and another base in the barn down the hill from our sanctuary. If we could gain enough information to piece this all together, then we would have a raid target for the sake of the sanctuary's survival. We've always seen them operating around um, like Severograd, just like normally like passing through. Um, we caught them raiding the church base and they took the car off them. Um, and then they were, like, oh, driving right. back. Yeah, because like, we've been scouting bases, driving. like, of where they could be, and we checked the, the, the church, so I guess if you got them raiding that, then that that means the church yeah, isn't nah, their base. Yeah, they don't live in the church. So but we yeah. thought they lived in, like, the apartment, maybe, in Severograd, but they don't live there either. Like, they cannot live there. It's okay. not the enough. So okay. they were driving, like, towards Roshamka way. That's where they were driving towards. Yeah, there's a few bases towards over there. There's a base in the barn, like, a big base in the barn, and there's a few bases in the in the buildings in the surrounding area but none big enough for a group of that size and how geared they are usually yeah and every time we've run them they're like a seven man our best guess of where they live is the barn base at ramashka we just need to confirm it 
Interesting, bro. With a little more information than we had before, we were fairly certain that IQ and his team were living in this barn base just down the hill. We had seen it a few times on our loot runs, but never thought too much of it. If it really was their base, then we needed to start preparing, and gather as much C4 as possible before the sanctuary fell victim to their inevitable raid. The process of getting more C4 would be made a lot easier with our new alliance with Zodak. I think we have like seven four mates and then we'll have four gunpowder, you know. With a little more grinding for C4 from both of us, we would have enough to raid a fully stacked base. Raiding IQ and his group was far from our grasp right now. Based on the size of their team, we knew that they would have a lot of doors inside their base, and so we needed to spend some time searching for C4 components. So when I logged on the next day, I put a team together and headed off to the airfield. I'm hit. I'm hit, I'm hit. He's dead, he's dead. Like most ventures to the airfield, we would obtain a decent amount of raiding components and would add these back to the stash at the sanctuary. However, it was coming home from these runs that we realised how much IQ and his team wanted us gone too. They've dismantled, a, they've dismantled a wall back here, man. To help prevent people getting inside our compound, we decided to build double walls. But in the process, found how they were actually getting in. This group was sneaky, and we needed to defeat them if the sanctuary was to survive. Looking good so far though. It was during the process of upgrading the base to make it stronger, that we got a very important visitor. Is that you? Someone at the front door? Hello? Hello. Oh, Hello! Uh, how you doing, my guy? May I introduce JLK, Red Tie, and their helping hand, Tommy. They had come to the sanctuary seeking help for an issue of their own, and to give you some context, this is a breakdown of their story. JLK and his team had moved into Navaya Apartments, a base that I had seen oh, from the first day on there. the server. It was in a strong location, however just up the hill lay the blue tin shed, home to here. one of the strongest teams on the server. Another base that I had come across. The owners had been giving JLK and his team a pretty hard time, and although Josh was saving up to try and raid them, they just didn't have enough. So they came asking for help. Obviously we spoke a little bit, um, poor, but... Yeah, pretty much this base in Navaya, we've been trying to raid for, for the last few days, but we just don't have enough C4 at the moment. And we're not going to be able to get enough C4. It's too difficult to raid. But you've seen them, right? The guys on the train state, the little train tin building. Yeah. Yeah, we've, um, whenever we've been heading up to Tissy or going to Cinestock airdrops, we've seen the base a few times. And every time we come across it, it's getting bigger and bigger. We've been on the roof and we've looked inside and it looks absolutely stacked gear so it has been like a potential yeah. raid target for us yeah well so but yeah we don't even need the loot really for us we've we've kind of had our time we've had our fun on this we we just need to get this you know this is like everything is on the line you know we have to get that you know what i mean so we've just been looking for the iq player and where he lives we think he lives down in the barn at ramashka like sort of um right east of here if we can do the raid then all i can kind of ask in return is that you know any c4 profits or even any men that you have that can come and help us yeah bro we'll help you out we, we'll do that we can do that yeah but yeah if you guys anything um, we get from this we'll, we'll send it to those guys okay so basically what you're looking for is so you guys need more c4 so how much have you got yeah well We've got two grenades and a flashbang. Um, <laughs> and no, I do have got, a smoke grenade, but I'm keeping that for, I'm keeping got, that no. for tonight. <laughs> no, we, we've got six homemades and one heavy. Okay. And I have enough to get through like six. It was a huge gamble helping them raid this base, 
but it had potential to give us C4 profit, and so we were in. Okay. Well, do you want to hit them tonight? Would you want to hit them tonight? Yeah, for sure. All right, good luck, guys. I'll be in contact. I'll be in touch. This was a huge risk, but one we were willing to take. If this was successful, then additional C4 profits could mean raiding IQ and his group immediately. I let Zodek know about my plans, and he was in on it too. And when we all met at the Sanctuary later that night, we were ready for a huge raid. I'm up, I'm up front. Bro, their base has expanded so much, man. And as we arrived at the base, our first objective was finding a way inside. Clear, I'm up, 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 i am Right, they've got an angle as you walk into the base. Is anybody inside? Wait, wait, comms, right comms, comms, I hear him oh. above us, he's opening a grenade. Oh no. Running back. I'm dead, maybe? I'm should be good. Yeah, I'm good. If you play C4 on that, bro, on that hatch, bro, that will be so beneficial for us. We need control of that. Oh, he's right above me. Yeah, he should be right above you. There should be one right above you. Yeah, there is actually. Come, come. Good. Good shit. Bro. Nice. Good shit, bro. Good shit, bro. Let's go. Before breaching the main base, we knew we had to chase the player who was holding the roof, as eliminating him would trap anyone inside. Right, I'm gonna go in. Tommy, come straight right. after us. Yeah. Straight yeah. Above, above, above. I'm in. I'm in. We're in. We're in. We're in. He's moving around inside. He's getting close to the door, Tommy. Okay. Oh, okay. He's dead. He's dead. Lovely. No, 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 wait, I hit him with arm in the fucking neck. I I don't think I killed him. At that range, are you kidding? No, oh, no. He's eye-fucking, he's eye-fucking. You good? Yeah, yeah we're good. Yeah, we're good. Misses we're good. in this corner just, every just, time. That was on the roof, wasn't it? Uh, window, window, top floor, shooting floor. Yep, he's peeking. I missed, I missed. Yeah, he's out there, guys. He's, he's up top. Shooting floor, guys. The player on the roof was only one door away. If we could kill him, then we would surely win this raid. Grenades, Nate. he's running. Uh, up, up, above, it's above, I think. Above, it's above, it's above. Right side, go. Go, 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 go. Kill one, kill one, he's down. Go on, right side, right side, go on, go on. Good shit, right side. Go on, right side. We got control Let's go, let's go, let's go. With one defender dead, we could start going deeper on this base and holding the inside would make it a lot easier. However, there was still at least one more on the inside. I have I have eyes on the base, guys. I, have, I can see in. I might be able to kill him. Wait, I see their hatch, their main loot. Comms, 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 comms! He's dead! Let's go! Nice. No way, no way, no way! Wait, no, he's on con, he's on con! Finish him! Finish him! I'm trying! He's full dead! With what we believe to be the last player now dead inside this base, we can now put our full attention on blowing further into this base. And as we blew deeper, we quickly realized how loaded they were actually going to be. Oh, they have a car. car. Oh. Oh, more cars. Another car. Oh. 
Another car! What oh, the hell? hell? They have a call, Lewis, for the sanctuary. Hey, I think we found Let's go! Cars, I think we found all the cars. Bro, I have a feeling there's more cars. I have a feeling there's more cars. This base was clearly going to be loaded, but just as we were about to gain entry to the main building, we underestimated the defenders. Oh, oh! I'm oh, dead! Oh, I'm dead. One, dead. In there. One, in there. One in there! One in there! One in there! One of their defenders had been quiet enough for this entire raid, and it sent two of us back to the coast. So, as me and Red Tie made our way back to the base, the guys clutched up, and when me and Red Tie returned back, it was there, all for the taking. Bro, that GL screwed us up, but oh my god, bro, they have even more cars? This is it, guys, last door. Come oh, on, hold. boys, right, this ready to be to it. Three, right, three, two, one, go. Oh my god, I see so much gear. Oh my god. Play so far. Oh, oh my oh, god. Geez, oh oh my god. god. Holy, Holy crap. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. My gosh. <laughs> right, search for the C4. Search for the C4. This base was absolutely loaded with every item you could imagine. But there was no sign of C4 yet. Like in a base like this, there would be C4. Oh, I found their key. Oh, no. Can I found see the it. Where? Where? What in this? this? Oh! <gasps> in oh! Oh my god, the keys? The money? Oh my goodness! <laughs> JLK and his squad upheld the deal, and I was able to take all the C4 profits, along with a bunch of other gear, so we filled our pockets, grabbed a car each, and headed back towards the sanctuary. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh, bro, the sanctuary with this sunset looks so good. Holy shit. Go, bro. Back at the sanctuary, we made sure to park up the cars and transfer all the loot inside. This raid had gone perfectly to plan. And, just like we had hoped, we had enough C4 to raid IQ and his group. Oh my god, we are so ready for a raid tomorrow. But that raid on IQ and his group would have to wait until tomorrow. It was well into the early hours at this stage, and so we logged off for the night. Oh my god. They've left like nothing. Offline raided. And although we didn't know who, we had a pretty good idea. Wow. These guys had not held back. They had taken all of our cars, dismantled most of our fences, and caused havoc across the trading post. This was unacceptable, and if we did know who it was, we had a pretty good idea where they lived now. So we called upon everyone who had joined the sanctuary so far, and asked them to join us on one final raid. Everyone who was available would join us on the rooftop of the sanctuary. We would combine our supplies, gather our raid supplies, and head out to see if it was really them. Let's do this, all or nothing, guys. And what they probably didn't realize at the time was taking our cars was possibly their biggest mistake. If it if it is them, they'll have the cars in their garage. Every piece of information we had collected pointed towards this barn base. It had to be their base, and if it was, 
the cars would be inside. Alright, if it's this base, guys, the cars will be in here. That's all we need to confirm. Let's see. This should be the garage. <gasps> Dude, no way. It's our cars! Oh, is this in the fucking. There's one in the garage, guys! There's one in the garage! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come in. Oh, he's dead, he's dead! What's his name? And there it was. The perfect link between this group continuously battling us from the barn base. We had got the right target, and now we just needed to finish the job. Let's go! Oh, wait, this is only a tier one. Nice. We must be getting close. This is only tier one. Uh, we're so deep. We're so deep! <laughs> Keep going, guys! However, as we got to the final door, we had overlooked one thing. Who's in the base? They were now inside the base. Sniff this must have alerted them to a raid, and they began logging on. But luckily for us, it was just too late for them. With the final door blowing up, we could make our push. Oh, clear right, clear right, Tango. Get in, get in, Tango. Get in, get in, get in. Get in, get in, get in. Shit, good shit, guys. Go, 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 go. Hold it, clear, hold it. Clear, clear now, clear now, everyone clear. Go, 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 Holy fucking loot. Dude, what? These guys are more loaded than we were. We were now deep inside this base. Every item imaginable stacked perfectly inside containers as if this was a well-oiled machine. Oh my god, the amount of grenades, man. The amount of grenades. What the this clan was very well organized and it was clear to us that they would try anything possible not to lose this loot. We knew that they had been alerted to an online raid, so we had to be ready for them logging in at any moment. One dead, one dead, right, good shit, good one shit. dead, I'm on con, I'm on con. Unfortunately for them though, we had this base on lockdown, and there was no way they were getting past us at this stage. <laughs> oh my god, guys. We organized any loot we wanted into bags, and the rest, we burned it all. This is genius. As for my own personal revenge, well, they dismantled most of my sanctuary, so I dismantled most of their base. Bro, I've dismantled the whole room. But before long, the people we had killed returned. Oh, oh yeah. that's on me. They're bringing smokes and shit now, they're gonna try right. something. He's pushing, he's pushing! Him. He's pushing hard. He's dead, dead. Despite these guys' best effort, there wasn't really much they could do now we were inside. However, they had one last game plan up their sleeves. We don't know where they got the gear from, but all of a sudden there was a selection of them outside with guns. And as time passed on, there seemed to be getting more of them. They were bound to make a push any moment, but little did they know, we also had our own game plan, as a few of our members at the sanctuary had now logged on also. If they're gonna shoot to cause a distraction, we take our shoes off, they won't hear us coming. Yeah, right, you ready bro? Ready, you guys Three, shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shit, guys. Do it, bro. Right, we need to start transporting this loot out here. With their final push shut down, we had to gain control of outside. Want to try and keep control of all areas here? Yeah. Alright, we're here, we're here, Nipson. This would be our only chance to get the loot out of this base. 
and so we used the cars to make things easier and drove around to the side of the loot room where we dismantled the wall. Alright, dismantle the wall on this side, Tommy. Yeah. Nice. This way we could transfer all of the loot directly from the loot room into the vehicles, speeding up the process massively. At any point, sniff this IQ or any other member of the group could return and kill us. If that happened, this would all have been for nothing. So one by one, we filled the cars with every last piece of loot from inside this base and even brought down the V3S for extra storage. Until in the end, each item was taken, each vehicle was full, and we were ready to leave. The only thing left to ask was where do we go now that the sanctuary was destroyed? I was planning on building something like this myself. I see Tango's castle. Oh my god, we've arrived. Love it. Heck yeah. At the new sanctuary. <laughs>